What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm installing a car part on the Supra today. And this is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time, something to give it some awesome style, which of course, you already saw the thumbnail and title, is a wing for the rear, a sweet lip spoiler. So I bought this from a90shop.com. This is genuine carbon fiber. It looks absolutely stunning. I love the weave in it. And we're gonna compare it to the interior of the Supra to see how well this matches up to the original carbon fiber in the center. Oh my gosh, this is going to look freaking epic. And I love all the little details to it. We'll get it inside in just a second. But something like that is how it's going to look on the car. I am really excited. And now I have to figure out how to open the door without dropping this because that is something I don't wanna do. And luckily it weighs pretty much nothing. So you can see the carbon, of course, the stock Supra. And then look at the weave. It looks exactly the same, like the same glossiness and everything like that. That is awesome. And then even looking at my carbon fiber paddle shifters, look at how cool that is going to be. So to go ahead and install this onto the car, we're gonna pull this into the garage because it is already 95 degrees out today. It is a hot summer day. So warm startup in the GTR and let's swap out cars. I forgot about taking the thumbnail and since we have this crazy echo inside right now, let's start up in sport mode. Oh. I think Mike's inside. Uh, sorry Mike for that. So if we look at this, and I love the design of it, it really cradles right around the body lines of the Supra and it's gonna fit nice and flush. I'll have to test fit it a little bit just to make sure I get it nice and even. Already just test fitting it, it looks so sick. I love especially how it fits the body lines perfectly. So as you can see, even just a nice rough fit, there's like no gaps or anything. It's perfectly lined up with the actual trunklet itself. It literally looks like it should have been there. So there is my template. You can see we have that tape just barely touching the edge. And then if we come to the center, that piece of tape is lined up nicely with the piece of tape that is on the car. So to go ahead and clean the actual car, we'll go ahead and pop the carbon wing off, let that sit over here. I'm just gonna take a clean brand new microfiber and I just have some cleaner here. I actually use this when I did the brake calipers. This is just your generic wax and grease remover, anything you would use before painting or something like that. And then from there, slowly and gently wipe the surface where the adhesive is going to go. All right, I think that is about clean. So with everything cleaned up, I'm now gonna use the 3M tape that came with this kit. We're gonna go ahead and put strategic areas of tape onto the bottom of the spoiler. That way it adheres nicely to the car. So I think I'm gonna do kind of a big piece in the center on the front and on the back side, and then focus a little bit on this edge right here where there's a contour, and same with the corner there, and maybe on these corners. So what I'm gonna do, instead of just putting pieces of tape down, I'm gonna pull out a long piece and then add like another inch or so to the edge and cut off the backing, leaving the red. That way I actually have a little tab I can pull once the spoiler is sitting on the trunk. That way I don't just have to like stick it down and hope I lined it up perfectly. So right here is where I'm gonna peel apart the red backing from the actual adhesive part. So you can see like an inch or so, and I'm gonna cut off the adhesive part. So that way I can have this red piece sticking out and actually peel it from the front. So that is all the taping I think I need on the wing. You can see how I have them curling up 
That way I can get access to this once it's sitting on the car. There should be plenty. This 3M tape is really good. And especially after cleaning everything nicely, they'll stick on perfectly and I shouldn't have any issues with that. I can slowly install the wing, kind of lining it up with that center piece of tape. And that right there looks centered there. And then the gap between the tape on each corner looks to be perfect. So from here, all my little tabs are sticking out. This is where it gets really cool. So with everything lined up, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure to the spoiler, make sure there's no weird movement. So now the cool part, that whole piece we put under here, I have my little tail that I will have access to and giving it a little bit of a firm press on the wing just so um, nothing wiggles and not too much though but I'm just gonna pull this straight out. And the backing is coming off the adhesive, but the adhesive, of course, is now sticking onto the paintwork. So this is kind of the best way to do this. That way, we already know we're lined up perfectly, and I didn't have to risk, if everything was sticking, I just set it on here. If that was wrong, we were kind of screwed. So at least this way, as long as you don't press too hard down, then you can break this. This is kind of how you do it. And don't press anything hard yet, because we want to be able to get all the other pieces out. But I would say just press it against the car, not against the adhesive. So now this one will do the same thing. I think it was the rain guards on the 07 Tacoma that we learned this trick on. Mike is behind the camera, so he might remember that one. Look at that. So this is the trick to do this correctly. And these little handles literally worked out perfectly. I am loving this already. I have wanted a wing, a lip to be exact. Like I've had people ask me about doing the big wing and things like that. This one is the best one in my opinion. Uh, they killed it with the design. I love the little fins here. And uh, of course the carbon looks pretty insane. So this one should be the little short one. Just pulling this one out through the front and then now we got this one right here now from there now we're going to press the wing into the car you know, put some pressure on the corners as well and this is where the adhesive is really going to start adhering to the paintwork of the car and with the 3m tape it's good to definitely give it some pressure and kind of sit there for a while fitment looks perfect over there and then coming over to this side same thing like they literally molded this 100% to the trunk. I mean, look at these lines. I hope it comes off on camera. There is not a single bit of extra gapping. This looks like an OEM wing, like it literally came from Toyota. That looks so sick. It really adds that character to the back of the car that uh, it had stock, but you know, I'm kind of used to the car after two years. So let's take a full look. The carbon is glistening in the sun, especially after the waterless wash. I don't know if it's gonna come off too well on camera. I'll post some Instagram pictures so you guys can see that right now. There we go, look at that carbon. Look how smooth everything looks. Dang. That is freaking epic. So we'll get a good look kind of from farther away. I especially love these pieces right here. It just adds that extra little bit. Definitely makes it look wider. Man, that is the perfect touch for this car. That's really what it needed.
One thing really cool when you are driving, I'm already noticing, that little cutout that we see in the uh, center portion actually helps with visibility. Hopefully you can see it in the rear view mirror there. You can see the wing in the rear view, which I really like, but the little cutout in the center with those fins in between it helps for your rearward visibility. So that is a nice little touch. Not only does it look more aggressive than just like a solid round one or something, but that actually helps out a lot. All right guys, so there you have it, installing the lip spoiler from a90shop.com, full genuine carbon fiber. It looks so good. Now we got two wings on each car, so they both look super sick. I am definitely super pumped with the quality. The, of course, fit and finish, it fits perfectly exactly the way you would want. The carbon fiber weave looks stunning, exactly how I would like it to look, super OEM looking. And then the touch of the graphene coating just to make it super hydrophobic and resist any little surface scratches that it might encounter. That is a nice touch, so thank you Will for doing that. But seriously guys, if you have a Toyota Supra, A90 Supra, check them out. They have everything for these cars and Will hooks it up with coatings, all sorts of things. Uh, he'll really set you guys up. So check out their website and Instagram down below. I love the new wing. I'm gonna go out on my highway tomorrow morning, got an early morning airport run, so I'll test that thing out at some higher speeds. But it should do a perfect job out there and look good doing it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.